Hey YouTube, this is me again. I'm in the bathroom because I'm trying to find some good lighting. Until I get a camera that does me justice, we're just going to have to be here in the bathroom. Anyway, I'm here today with my top five favorite foreign films. For those of you that watch foreign films or, they're, or are interested in watching them, this is my pick right here. Number one, pretty sure y'all heard of it, Shadas. Takes place in Jamaica. Came out in 2002, I believe. With one of Bob Marley's sons, I forget his name, but basically, long story short, he gets deported out of the U.S. back to Jamaica. Then him and his homeboy scheme their way back to the U.S. to become drug dealers and robbers, and you know how that ends. Pretty good, though. Number two on my list, and these are in no particular order, I'm just numbering them down, the N. Touchables, French film, um, based off of a real story, a book. And also, if you remember Kevin Hart, uh, a few years ago came out with the, the Upside. That's pretty much the English version of that same movie. So uh, we follow Dries, who has a criminal record. He applies to be a caregiver to this elderly white man. Dries is an African, uh, West African in the movie. And in real life, he's uh, Algerian. So basically, they form a bond and a friendship, and I just, I, I love this movie because it's a feel-good movie, but it's not like your typical, oh, the black guy teaches a white guy to be cool type of thing. I feel like they equally learn from each other. It was a, like an equally yoked movie. So that's good. All right. My number three movie on the list, City of God, which takes place in Brazil. you probably heard of this, too. This is kind of like a cult hood classic. Um, it's basically talking about the drug game back in the 1970s. This is based off a true story, but a lot of what happened in the movie didn't happen in real life. Um, which, most based based off a true story movie, it, that's what it means. It doesn't mean that everything that happened in the movie happened in real life. It's just basing the story off of a real story. So, that was good. I, I think every everything was perfect in that, from the casting to the writing to whoever directed it. I need to look that up. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but that came out in 2002. I remember seeing the ad for it in high school, but it was like years after high school when I actually saw it myself. Okay, so the next film is a film called Vaya. I think that's how you say it, V-A-Y-A, which is on Netflix. You can catch that. It takes place in South Africa. And it's three stories in one. So... I guess you would say there's three protagonists versus one. But basically it's about three young people trying to accomplish something. Like there's a girl, she's trying to be a model. Um, she has her little sister with her. She's, you know, actually living with a man that's a pimp, but she doesn't know it. Uh, this one guy, he ends up getting kidnapped and he's trying to find his father. It was a bunch of stuff going on. I love that I actually ran across that and reached out to the actress on Instagram. I was wanting to have her in one of my movies that I make later on. All right, <laughs> and the fifth foreign film that I like found it in Dollar Tree. It's called, uh, wow, I forgot what the name was. Anyway, it takes place in Brazil. The Night Catches Us or something. No, that's not it. Let me just look it up. This is the reason why I need to learn how to edit film so I can edit stuff like this out. But we're working raw right now. We're just doing... Now, what's the name of that movie for this phone cut off? Because I don't have a lot of... What is that movie? Dang. Ah. Uh. You know what I'm probably going to have to do? I'm probably going to have to put it in the description when I find out what it is. But anyway, this came out in 06. Brandon F Frazier, who usually plays like a good funny guy, he plays kind of like a villain. It's a father and son duo. The, the father's a pimp. The son's a drug dealer who's hooked on the coke. And most deaf is in it. He play, actually plays a Nigerian who helps, you know, transport money because the guy that they usually use ended up dying in the beginning of the movie. So check that out. That might be on like Amazon Prime or Netflix or something. But anyway, y'all, I got to go and post this sorry about the short video and i will be making more videos as uh 
the days go on instead of one video every like three or four weeks. But anyways, y'all check those films out, all right? Drop down in the comments and leave me some suggestions of foreign films that you like. I love foreign films. So, you got any? Post it. All right, y'all have a good night.